over the years, all over the world, we've been able to multiply manifolds the number of people that have a, a university degree. Then, since that is a fact, how come that today we are so ignorant, might be more than before, on how to relate effectively with ourselves, others, and the world? And that ignorance is dramatically underlined by the fact that we destroy ourselves and every life form of the planet with the university degrees. So, what is going on? And it's not a, a concept, uh, it's a, some dramatic reality that uh, nobody that read uh, a science fiction uh, 50 years ago that uh, described a planet uh, where the inhabitants uh, were busy poisoning the air they were breathing, busy poisoning the food that they were eating and growing, busy killing each other, busy becoming more and more blind. How come that now that we are in the fourth revolution, where we have enormous power, and where never before we've been uh, hyper-connected, uh, we feel alone. Never before we felt so alone. How come? Well, it's easier to ask the question uh, than to give uh, an articulate question. Also, in history, people that have uh, used uh, exclamative points uh, have uh, often created uh, more problems uh, of those uh, courageous enough uh, to open uh, question marks. So, although I swear a lot of people of goodwill work in the academy and in this uh, new entity, the World University Consortium, we do not have uh, the answer. It would be dishonest uh, to say that uh, we have one. But uh, we have uh, an idea that I think uh, is solid. We cannot find a solution alone. Nobody is able to do it alone. As Nora was talking before, we are all interconnected. Together we have strength. Together we can learn from each other. And so this uh, World University Consortium is not a consortium just uh, open to university. Certainly true, but also to all the other stakeholders. Because it's time uh, that uh, we find uh, that there is another way to deal with things, not just concerned with the quantity, but also quality. Not only with product, but also the process. And so we wanted to create a process that we don't want to guide, but to facilitate, to see what we can come up together where every single stakeholder, groups, community from all over the world ask a similar question and what kind of process we can share together. Because it is evident more and more dramatically that we know that the national or the world economic product is totally an efficient parameter. And still, every day, we read on the newspaper if uh, our country or other country went up and down. And this influenced uh, the stock exchange. Like if somebody would uh, dress uh, with a blue or red or green shirt, uh, and this uh, will impact the world. But how? So, I think uh, 
we can learn from the mistake of the past and in a more humble way actually accept what we don't know. Actually, this is a mantra that I always use with my students. I say, you know, to examine yourself in our learning community, our students do examine themselves. And say, if you find that you don't know something, that is good news. Because you identify something that you can fill up. Instead, if you negate your lack of awareness, of knowledge, that become harder and harder. And so maybe we could do with ourselves a little bit of what we preach and realize that maybe learning from the mistake of the past and admitting it honestly is going to empower ourselves to find a sustainable solution. And a sustainable solution, I think, uh, cannot come only on level of quantity, but in terms of processes that whatever, how different they are, I don't think they can be a solution, but are centered on reality, on the people, on the person, on the student. By the way, the word health organization since 89 has taught us that we have to change the approach to health, not to focalize on illness, but how to promote health and well-being and resilience. And since 89 and then on has shown research that when the medical services are person-centered, you have a better results and less expenses. There is a Donato Kinniger Pasilli that has written eloquently that, uh, in, uh, you know, he directs the department in ILO, that uh, the projects should not be cathedral in the desert uh, to gratify donors, but we need uh, to promote change with action of empowerment and that the project should be people-centered. So maybe we can not know the solution, but maybe we have some intuition of what kind of quality process to start an experiment and be aware that we're never going to find the perfect formula and nobody requires us uh, to find the perfect formula. But uh, why not to give us our self hope uh, that together we can learn uh, from each other and grow and see how we can tackle better what uh, are the challenges facing us? Because uh, we are not doing a great job. Good luck to all of us.